All right, so there's a couple ways as to how we can actually get this URL to work. So it's gonna, we can click on a product and then take it to that product page where it goes to like products slash the slug for it and then it shows us into that product page. All right, so that's what we're gonna do in this one. Now there's a lot of different ways on how to do it. So I'm actually gonna show you gradually what we're gonna work towards. Um, and it all has to do with how our URLs are set up. Now, if we go into our home.html, uh, I'm going to get rid of the ID and also the slug. And now I'm just gonna do a href equals to slash products slash dot product dot slug. All right, so this will actually take us to that product by using the slug right here. All right, so that's what that's doing. And this is gonna be an absolute path according to our page, right? So it's gonna take us directly to products slash product dot slug. So if I refresh in here, I now have these links and that's a href and then all that. And then if I click on one, it actually takes me there. If I go back, take me back, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is kind of cool, but what if in my URL, for whatever reason, I just decided to get rid of that S and then now if I refresh in here and click on it, ah, it's not, it doesn't take me to where I wanted it to go. I just broke everything, basically. I broke three links with one accidental escape. So to fix that, we can go into our, our uh, HTML and instead of using this relative type thing, we wanna use um, a URL tag, a URL Django tag, so URL, and then whatever URL it's gonna go to, whatever URL name it's gonna go to, so in our URLs, the name is this right here, so single product, and I'm gonna put it in double quotes. I have single quotes on the outside, double quotes on the inside, just make sure it's vice versa, so double quotes on the outside, single on the inside, could be either one. And then I have to add in an argument to this, so just like in my view, uh, in my view, I have request and an argument. In my URLs, I have the main URL and an argument. So I need to add in that argument, which in our case would be product.slug. And we can save that. And now if I refresh in here, I can actually go to any of these products, right? So it's going to products. And if I changed in my URLs, if I got rid of everything, let's just say I just have the slug and oh, that's not gonna work right now actually. So ABC slash, and then I click on one of these, it's going to take me to ABC, right? So it's, it's a little bit smarter. It actually handles it a little bit better for us, uh, which is great. Um, so this is a method that I like to use right here. I like having it where I can actually do the URL and then the slug, but yet there's one more method. So in our models, we're gonna add an instance method in here and we're gonna call it define git absolute URL. And this takes the self of it and it's gonna return a URL of some kind. Um, so let's just add in by products slash percent s and percent s self dot slug. All right, so return absolute URL. In this case, it's going to return that um, URL that we had before, and it's gonna be that. So let's go back into our home.html, make sure our URLs is still products, and it is. Um, we would go in here and just change this whole thing to instead of being all that, we could do product.git absolute URL, save it, and we refresh, and now it's gonna be the exact same. However, that still runs the problem. If I change this to product, refresh and click on this, it still has that same problem as uh, what we've saw in that last one. So what we need to do is import a URL resolver called reverse that will take the name. It will do essentially what we did. Uh, I'm gonna undo this real quick. It's gonna do essentially this, but in our view instead of our template. Um, so to do that, we go in here into our model and I'm gonna import below models from Django dot, or actually, sorry, dot core dot URL resolvers, import reverse. I'm actually gonna put this above that, that first import because of the ordering of it. Core is C becomes before D. 
All right, so now that I have reverse in here, I can actually use reverse right in here. So I'll turn, return reverse and single, single product. All right, so if I do reverse single product and do a refresh, it's gonna say it tried this and it didn't, it needs keyword arguments. So to do keyword arguments, we go back into our view. So now we can add keyword args equals to dictionary slug self dot slug. Right, so that's taking the instance that's being passed and then the slug, which is that. So we can save that and go back in, refresh, and we'll see that if we click on these, the links will actually take us to that specific product. Okay, that's good. Uh, we could also get rid of this and do args equals to a list of the arguments. So self.slug and refresh in here. Same thing's gonna work. So arguments being the number of arguments. So the first argument in this case would be slug. And then in our URLs, that first argument is slug. Uh, so that's what will come through. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it as keyword args because if I ever wanted to reference this for maybe more than one argument, I wanna make sure that I'm using keyword args so I know which is being passed for what. And of course, if you have any errors with this, like if I put a comma there and did a refresh and clicked on these, um, it looks like the link, the link won't even work uh, in many cases. So just keep that in mind that you test it and make sure that when you go here, you actually click on that. Uh, and another way to actually see that that's working is by going into the shell, so python manage.py shell. Then we do from products.models import product, and then products equals to product.objects.all, and then for item in products, print item.get absolute URL, and it is a function, so make sure you use those parentheses. Uh, so then it will actually give you that URL. All right, so that is pretty cool. So that's probably, you would even either use it this way. You would probably even want to set this absolute URL regardless of if you're going to use it or not, um, just because there might be a case where you do want to make sure that you can grab it. And this is a standard way to set a URL for any instance. Uh, and that would be how you would do it just like that. And if you ever want to know reference on this reverse, we do use it quite a bit, but if you go into the documentation for reverse resolution of URLs, uh, this will show you a little bit more about it and you can kind of see all the different things that we've already gone through. So just definitely take that as a reference. And there's another thing that we will get to at some point is this re response redirect. So redirecting URLs or views uh, by using reverse like we've done already. All right, so if you have any questions on this one, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.